Hi friends, it's Kim with Sweet Daisy Creations. Welcome back y'all to my channel. I'm so excited to see you again. Well, as you can tell, I'm standing in my bathroom where we have this wonderful echo. <laughs> Anyways, the bathroom is completely painted now and I'm so excited. I've started decorating a little bit. Not quite done yet because we still have to hang our blinds and things of that nature, but I have put a few things around. As you can see right there, I have a towel. You can kind of see how it's looking because there is our medicine cabinet. Anyways, let me turn it around and show you how it's looking now and everything that we've done. So hang on a second. Okay, well, here we are. That's me. Hello, everyone. Uh, we're back in my bathroom and now our cabinets are painted. Doesn't that look fabulous? They used to be white and all the cabinets are painted now. And I've put down a couple of rugs. I got these at Walmart, super inexpensive. I just wanted something on the floor. And, uh, but anyways, yeah, it's coming, it looks really good. All the drawers, I've put um, a liner in there that I got also at Walmart that looks like that. So it will cover up the inside here so it won't get all nasty. But the cabinets, see how they came out so nice? The gray paint looks fabulous with the gray walls. And they did the medicine cabinets too. And then I recently got these towels and they're kind of, they're gray, but they kind of have a, kind of a, I don't know, they're not completely gray gray, but they've got a little bit of a pattern on them, which I kind of liked. So I picked these up at Walmart just for show. And then, like I said, the medicine cabinets got done. The walls look fabulous. There's the new lighting. And of course, if we were staying here, this would not be the lighting I would pick. Um, this is because we're selling. This is all a brushed nickel. So it's on both sides of the big, big mirror we have here, which I wish we didn't have. And there's quite a big expanse through here, so my husband was thinking we should put something up there, but I'm not quite sure. Um, on the countertop, I've just added a couple of things. I want to keep it fairly clean. Uh, I have my tissue box that's from Ray Dunn and just a little candle here and that cute little plant that I got from uh, Target. So that's how I'm leaving that right now. Um, I used to keep a tray on there, and it has, like, my Q-tips in it and stuff like that, but... Um, for the time being, I'm not going to put that back out. I'm just going to leave it like it is. We have new um, faucets and stuff we're fixing to put in. They will be an all brushed nickel, all one color. These are, all, you know, what they put in it when we bought the house, gold and silver. So this will be all silver, a brushed nickel on both sides. And I want you all to look at the floor because I've spent the last, like, oh, I'd say four or five, five days now cleaning the grout in my bathroom because it also was getting nasty. And I used a number of things. I think I told you in the beginning I used, it was baking soda and water, and that does work really well. Um, it really cleans well. Um, I guess it's the abrasive you get from the baking soda. Um, but, it, you know, and, and scrubbing, I have to really push hard on my scrub brush and just uh, go back and forth. I'm going to try to... Uh, back and forth on the grout and scrub, 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 scrub. But then the cleanup was kind of a pain in the rear end. So I just uh, wanted to tell you that. So when I got in here, I did try a couple of things. I tried using bleach, uh, not bleach, but um, what's vinegar, vinegar with a baking soda. And that did okay. And then I also tried that all-in-one all-purpose cleaner that I have. I tried that and it cleaned okay. But to get it the whitest it can look like for instance here I mean it's hard to tell in this light but it's back to the light it was when we first had it put in the thing that worked best you wouldn't believe this it was um I had some oxyclean like clothing spray you know that you put on your clothes to get stains out um I put that on and I'll tell you what that stuff worked like a charm I, I mean I was surprised it worked that well but anyways, here's the bathtub. And I've just kind of set a couple of things here for right now because we still need to do these. You know, they're all very yellowed. So we need to do something about these. Um, we are thinking about trying to just paint them. 
um, because we priced these out and it'd be a, at least about $150 just to switch these out. So we're thinking about painting them. Um, I got this ladder off of Amazon a while back and I just threw one of the towels there. I wish I had like a pretty soap or something to stick on there. And I just put a birdhouse there and a plant for the time being. Um, I'm not sure that's gonna stay there. It does stand upright. Cause I first had it like over, let me know, make you dizzy. But I did have it standing on this counter cause I thought that might be where I wanted it. But when I tilted it, then everything you put on tilts. So it didn't look good. So it's really, you stand straight up. It doesn't have any like hanging mechanism on it or anything like that if you wanted to hang it on the wall. But I really had it intended to like hang towels on it and decorate it or whatever. And it kind of looks cute there. Add something to that corner. And then over here on this half wall, this is all that stuff that I picked up from uh, Big Lots when I did that haul. Um, I need to find a like a candle candle for this because I don't have one. You know, I like a light up, what a folk, you know, a battery operated candle. And then here's that little plant that I got there too. So I think that looks cute there. And then I've got another rug here. And this Saturday, they're coming to replace this. This is now going to be a frameless glass enclosed door. And then I've got a person called a grout doctor coming tomorrow um, to kind of take a look at cleaning up the shower more and maybe even re-grouting the whole thing. I mean, it's not in terrible condition. Um, it's really more so down here at the bottom, which, you know, I know that happens to everybody over time in your shower as the you know, the silicone and your caulk starts to go bad and you have to have it replaced. So that's pretty much it, but it's gonna be a seamless glass door, which is gonna be beautiful, all clear. We won't have any gold or silver. It's gonna look really nice. Um, we're gonna be changing this out and our shower head up there. Well, if you can see it with all the different soaps, but there's a shower head. So that's gonna be changed too. And so basically that's what we've got left to do is the faucet here is gonna be swi uh, switched out. All of these will have to be cleaned or spray painted. I think that's what's gonna happen. I've got the floor completely clean and we have to put the two new faucets in. And the only other thing we're gonna do that I told my husband we ought to do because our other drawers, Everything before it was painted, you could see like our handprints on them and stuff like that. I had gotten makeup on them and stuff like that. So we are gonna get some knobs to put on here for the time being. Um, we are not ready to build quite yet, y'all. I wanted to let you know with all this COVID-19 thing going on, we've put a halt to just about everything when it comes to uh, meeting with builders and so forth. So um, we're not ready to list the mark, mark the, uh, list the house or anything like that. But anyways, we're going to put some uh, knobs on these and some pulls on these um, cabinets. And then over here to put some pulls on these cabinets. And this is one of those things that pulls out, like you could use it like a laundry, if you can see. Um, and then it has several different, you know, different compartments in it. And this is for like your linens and stuff like that. But anyways, that's how it's looking so far. And I, I love it. I love it y'all without, you know, that wallpaper. I'm so glad to be rid of it. It looks so bad. <laughs> and up here, we've got a couple of things removed here cause they turned yellow. Um, so both of those, there's the other one, vents and stuff. Um, we're gonna have to paint those white too. So they will look better. And then I cleaned my fan here not too long ago, so it's pretty in good shape. But um, I'm loving how it changed up this room. It actually made it look like it was bigger and it's already a big bathroom to begin with. I mean, it's a really big bathroom. Um, but, you know, we will put probably the blinds back up. You know, this glass block isn't popular anymore. Um, so I don't know. Well, we may not put the blinds up here, but in this little, Ba uh, this bathroom area, it does have like the opaque window. So we may put blinds back in here because I mean, you, you can't see through it, but you can see shadow through it, you know? And probably the same thing here, if you were doing like at nighttime, you would see shadow, but you wouldn't really be able to see, you know, 
because the shower is over here. You know, you wouldn't see anybody, you know, where it looked like the body or whatever. But um, I kind of like this. Oh, and then I have something I'm going to put up here. You know that Ray Dunn shelf I got? I'm going to hang that up there, um, I think. And then, then that, I may not use this, to tell you the truth, after I do that. Um, but I got that, I have that shelf and a picture to put here. And then, you know, some, so I'm going to dress, do something with this wall. But that is the situation. So I'm so excited. I love it. It came out really super good. The paint looks good. I'm real happy with that. I did have to pick up, you know, I did have to clean some paint splatter and stuff like that. They did get some on the mirror. And, uh, but anyways, the lights look good. I'm happy with those. And the mirror, we're just going to leave it. We talked about trying to frame it, but you can't because it's already, it's got a bevel edge on it. As you can see here, it's beveled. So we really can't take that off. So we're just going to leave it like this. And if, you know, the future people who buy this house want to do something else in here, they can. But it definitely looks better than it did before. And I think once we get all the other things done that we're going to do, the bathroom will look good. It won't look like a brand new bathroom, but it'll look nice enough, I think, to where um, it should sell, you know, pretty well with that that taken care of and in the meantime we've been um, hanging lights around the rest of the house so hang on a second let me show you another light we put up let me walk through this way I don't want you to see the bedroom because it's a mess right now I've got um, like all my vacuum stuff in here I mean, I'm trying to trip, trip over thing I bought a steamer and I've been using that so let me just show you the kids bathroom because it's been painted too and it looks good. It's gonna get dark over here. And right now my husband's putting in the faucets. So we've got the drawers out. Let me flip this around. Okay, this is the kids' bathroom. And right now my husband's putting this faucet in. Well, he got the faucet in, but he had a leak down where the pipes didn't weren't big enough or something was happening. So he he's fixing that. So we've got the drawers out of there and everything out of the cabinet and he's got a little thing down there till he fixes it which i think he's going to finish that tonight but these this is a nice um set you know it's got nice um it's that polished nickel and then the light in here looks like that it's pretty much the same as in the other room except it's a five bulb thing and then you can see it's all painted gray in here too we didn't do anything else and then we added these um towel racks and we got these at Walmart, and they're just uh, the poly, you know, the brushed nickel. And so they painted in here too. Let me turn on the light. All of that's been painted, and you know, this had wallpaper in it, but they did paint over the wallpaper, and it actually turned out pretty good. So I'm pretty happy about that. And that's the bathtub. And so I'm also going to have. Uh, here, let me make sure I turn all my lights out. Um, yeah, so when that... Did I mention I have a, a person coming to look at the grout? Yeah, I did. Okay, grout doctor is what they're called. They're coming tomorrow. I also have to go pick up a grocery order tomorrow. Has it been horrible at y'all's grocery stores where you don't have enough food? Well, the food's picked over. I mean, we've had a hard time finding chicken, of all things. And, of course, the toilet paper's always been an issue. It's like, what are people doing hoarding this stuff everywhere? But I placed an order. There's no telling what I'm actually going to get. I have really been staying at home because I, I kind of have, you know, myself, I have like an autoimmune deficiency. So it would not be good if I got this um, virus. So uh, anyways, but um, it's been not okay because I've been busy. I've been doing a lot of stuff. So it's not really been too stir crazy for me being around the house. But it has, um, like for my daughter's home from college... My husband's still staying, or not my husband, my son is still staying in college. And let me just turn on the light. Let's chat for a second. Right here in the hall. I don't have my, my big light. Anyways, but yeah, that's what's happening um, as far as, let me get this straight. As far as what's going on, this is not very good. I'll have to hold it. Um, but I hope all y'all are doing well and um, that you're not getting stir crazy around the house. I've been doing like a lot of cleaning, so it's been okay. I've been working on that bathroom. Um, but now, um, 
after this, we just need to put all the faucets in and next, I guess, the last thing we'll do is put in carpet. But like I said, we're not planning to do that yet. I don't trust your, my, if my daughter knew I was saying this, but I don't trust her to not eat in her room because she does that quite a bit, you know, because she goes to bed later than the two of us do. And so she'll come out and get a snack or whether and a drink. And I don't want anything spilt on brand new carpet. So we're going to wait till the very last minute to do the carpet before we put the house on the market. But like I said, it may be a while before we do that because of this whole COVID-19 thing. And um, we're just, you know, not seeing builders or doing anything like, like that right now. So soon we, um, after this is all over with, um, I hope we get started on talking to a builder and get a plan in place and maybe start building something. But anyways, that's about it that's going on here. I've been spending, like I said, all my time um, doing all the kinds of cleaning and stuff like that. Doing a lot of cooking here at the house because we, we're not going out or doing anything. I mean, my husband goes to work and he comes home and then that's it. We don't do anything else. And uh, so it's been kind of different, you know, a different way of life for a while. I've not been doing any shopping. And of course, everybody knows TJ Maxx is shut down. Even their website is shut down, which is so surprising. Um, and a lot of the, well, I haven't heard anything about some of the other stores and stuff like that, but I just not have been going out shopping. I just don't want to take a chance of getting that. So I'm just kind of staying home and uh, try not to have to, like I, I placed a grocery order so I wouldn't have to go in the store. Um, I have been to the store, but um, I'm just trying to be careful about it. Anyways, it's so good to see you all. I've missed you. And I hope you like how the bathroom's turning out. I will keep you updated as um, I get more things in there, like, or not more things, but if I decide to do that shelf and take down the ladder, I'll show you how that all ends up looking um, when we do that. And of course, when we get the knobs for the uh, cabinets, and then of course, when we get everything done, done in there, you know, like the sh new shower door and after the grout doctor fixes up the shower to make it look better and stuff, um, then I'll show you the final product product. Anyways, y'all take care. Mm, I love you to pieces. I hope you all are doing well, that nobody is sick, that y'all are taking care of your elderly people and staying away from them because they don't need to get this stuff and that you're washing your hands all the time. Uh, but anyways, I uh, will talk to you soon. I love y'all. Bye.